Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up RTM ready to mine miner. Let's check out what we have over here. So here's the miner itself. As you can see it's pretty loud and it's running on 220 volts. Now I don't have 220 volts on my house so I had to use a converter for this demonstration even though I will not recommend to using a converter for a long time as it does take a lot of electricity and it's not efficient and not designed to be run 24 7. Here is the power supply it's up to 1600 watts so you can definitely run eight video cards. What I do like about this miner is that the three fans in the back are super powerful, uh, very similar to the S9, S7 fans. They run at about 3 amps, 2 to 3 amps, and they can really cool down those video cards really, really well. I uninstalled them to fit really big video cards, but even if one is installed, they can really cool down the whole system. We have a few video cards to test out today. We have a 1060, 1080, we also have a 390, R9, and a little 1030 to test out. What's sweet about this is Windows is already installed. I will go ahead now and show you how I set it up remotely so you can hear me better and see how I do the benchmarking. So I'm back. Now that we install Windows on the RTM machines, we can go ahead and install NiceHash and other devices to test out our mining rig with the video cards. By the way, it was super easy to set it up because um, some of them are already pre-installed. Some of the RTM is already pre-installed. Just make sure to ask. Um, it's already pre-installed with Windows, so that's a sweet, sweet bonus. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start with NiceHash, but this time I wanna try also another miner, just, just as a reference to have two different miners running and see which one is better. So, to download NiceHash, you already know the drill. You know, www.nicehash.com, you download for NVIDIA. Actually, I have to download for AMD because one of the GPUs is AMD. So I'm gonna download the AMD. You can actually download both and have the AMD one run on the legacy NiceHash nice and then the NVIDIA one run on the NiceHash 2. So it's up to you. I'm just gonna use the 1.9 NiceHash legacy for both the AMD and the NVIDIA. Extract it to the desktop and run NiceHash. Now, I didn't install any drivers yet, so I want to see if it comes pre-installed with drivers or not. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, no, so we're going to have to install drivers. To do so, we can install the NVIDIA drivers and the AMD drivers. It's very simple to do. You just go to NVIDIA, and they both have like automated search and download and install kind of thing, where you just download one file and it will download all the drivers for all the video cards. Let's start with NVIDIA. I'm just gonna Google NVIDIA, and this is the automated system to just find out what kind of video card you have and install it on your system. And I'm gonna do the same thing for AMD drivers. Now, while this is installing, I wanna also go over the specs of this computer to kind of see what it comes with it. We have the Intel Celeron G3930. This is seventh generation new CPU, but the performance are very low. But it can support many, many different video cards. It actually has internal video card, so internal graphics it's called, and that lets you connect an HDMI to that RTM miner without having a video card at all. In there so regardless if you have a video card in there or not you can plug in HDMI cable unlike some other motherboards and mining rigs where if you use AMD especially the 1700x they don't have built-in graphics or they're also called APU CPUs so they don't have graphics built in so you have to plug in a video card in order to see anything on the screen but for this RTM miner you can just plug in HDMI to the front and right away you see the screen so if, it doesn't matter if you have video cards in there or not, you'll be able to have video out. That's a big plus because I remember when I installed an AMD motherboard CPU miner, I always had trouble to like, you know, I have to put the video card in there and then I plug in the video and sometimes the video doesn't come up. 
because the drivers or whatever but in this case you have to nothing to worry about you just plug in HDMI and boom you have video because the CPU already has video built in so you're not relying on the other GPUs to have a video when you configure your system or remote controlling it or whatever. We also have 4GB of DDR3L which is actually same as for the laptops which is kind of cool and it's only one stick, very simple setup and this that's pretty much it. 60GB SSD, pretty fast, works pretty well, just enough to run everything you might need and any miner you might need to run and even if you have to download uh, let's say the Bitcoin core you'll be able to do that too it's enough space okay now we finished with the drivers let's go ahead and set up the nice hash and do some benchmarks that always takes a long time so I'll skip it for you guys no worries but basically when you open up nice hash it will show you all the graphics cards installed and the CPU which we're not gonna mine on CPU mining is over and so we have a 1080 from Nvidia we have a 1060 6 gigabyte we have a 1030 and an r9390 from amd now let's go ahead and do the benchmark and we set up the usa i'm gonna put my bitcoin address there we're gonna call this rtm miner i'll be right back with you guys once it's all done we'll do some testing and see what's the hashing power on this mining rig and some temperature too because mining rigs like this will be much better temperature controlled than a regular PC or something because the airflow is designed in a way where the fan is in the back you're up to three fans pushing air a lot of force coming in so you can really like overclock them and we can really uh, let them stand, stand there for a long time with high temperature um, around it so it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and do the benchmark so I waited for the results from the benchmarks and it's all done as you can see the benchmarks right here I'll zoom it in for you total we are making about five bucks a day from this mining rig from those random video cards that I have those are way old I bought them over a year ago and five bucks a day is about 150 bucks a month which is not bad and don't forget that I didn't have to build anything I just you know took a few screws out threw all those video cards in I didn't have to buy any power supply I didn't have to buy any CPU or RAM or anything it's all came built in already installed with Windows it was super super easy so I really like that fact that it's all ready to go and the CPU and everything is already installed it's just really really well now all we have to do I want to check how much wattage we are drawing from this system when it's fully powered and also when it's on idle with no video cards at all how much the system takes with no video cards at all just a system running with nothing at all so at full load we are drawing about 780 watts as you can see it's running pretty cold the temperatures are pretty good the 1080 runs a little hot now I want to check how much watts does it take running it uh, just by idling now that I remove all the video cards and let the computer run with no video cards we are only drawing 41 watts now remember I also have the inverter here I calculated how much the inverter takes about 14 watts so we are only drawing 28 watts with the system and that's pretty impressive because remember there's a fan that cools down the power supply all the time running and we have a motherboard and we have RAM and we have the SSD right there so all those things together takes less than 30 watts is pretty impressive thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave in the comments below what do you think should be my next video also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button I do giveaways all the time and I want to thank each one of you for subscribing and watching my videos I really really appreciate the feedback and everything so thank you guys so much don't forget to check out bitcoinmerch.com for all the stuff I reviewed you can buy it there I'll see you guys in the next video have a great day bye bye